Good morning, one and all, and welcome to the Greater Portmore Open Bible Church. We welcome you this morning to this another service. We welcome those who have joined us via the World Wide Web for the first time. This is a place where the gospel and friendship meet, and so we welcome everyone this morning. We're happy and delighted and excited to have you worshiping with us this morning we're a little delayed because of a technical challenge but this morning we have worked that out and psalm 117 it says oh praise the lord all ye nations praise him all ye people for his merciful kindness is great towards us and the truth of the lord endureth forever praise ye the lord and this morning we have every reason to give god all the praise and all the honor and all the glory is that an amen amen we are in the land of the living and there are some persons they are alive but they are struggling fighting for life somewhere but this morning we're standing upright we're seated upright we are in the presence of the lord and we don't take it for granted one more day a new day it is courtesy of the goodness and the grace of almighty god somebody put your hands together for the lord god is a good god is that an amen amen praise and glory be to god our father and friend this morning our moderator is our deacon Dwayne lewis and I invite him to come along at this time. Deacon Lewis. Good morning, brothers and sisters, wherever you are on the World Wide Web. Hallelujah. This is the day the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it despite of what may take in place around us in the world you know let us not be distracted by these things let us put our focus on god because he is our refuge and strength he is our very help in times of trouble is that an amen, amen. hallelujah in psalm 39 verse 23 says search me O God and know my heart try me and know my thoughts and see if there are any wicked way in me lead me in the way everlasting God is a good God he's an untime God hallelujah this time we will ask the praise team to come and open the hymn I am thine, O Lord. I am thine, O Lord. I have heard thy voice and it told thy love to Let my 
Hallelujah. God is good. And all the time, consecrate me, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Can we just stand one more time for as we go into the intercessory prayer? Is, is there any spoken request? Unspoken? Hallelujah. We all have something to pray about. Hallelujah. The scripture said, Call unto me, and I will hear and answer. Hallelujah. God is not far away where he can't hear us. 
He is with us wherever we go. Hallelujah. Let us bow our head and our hearts unto the Lord this morning. Mighty God, as I come before you, only a lump of clay. Lord, search me this morning, O oh God, and wash me. Lord, I, I put myself before you this morning as I come before your throne, Lord. Lord, if there is any wicked way in me, cleanse me, O oh God, and wash me, O oh my God. Lord, we put our nation into your hands this morning, mighty God. Lord, you said if your people who are called by your name will humble themselves and seek you, O oh God, you will heal our land. Mighty God, there is so much that has been going on. And Lord, people may ask, where are you in the midst of this? But Lord, you are our present help in times of trouble. Mighty God, you sit high and you look slow. But Lord, your word must be fulfilled in this Bible, O oh God. So Lord, O oh God, I pray that you will have mercy upon our nation, Lord, O oh God. Our leaders, mighty God, we put them before you at this time that you will give them wisdom and understanding on how to lead and lead your people well, mighty God. Lord, there are so much dying around us. Lord, you are the one who give it and you are the one who take it, mighty God. Some may say, oh God, their loved ones have gone too soon, but Lord, you know what's best. Lord, we know at the end, mighty God, we will be right at your hand, sitting right beside you, oh mighty God. Lord, we glorify you, we honor you, because you are the maker of us all, oh God. Mighty God, you said where two or three are gathered, you are in the midst, and we are more than two and three, oh God. You said the effectual favor and prayer of the righteous avail it much. And Lord, O oh God, we call unto you, O oh mighty God, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. You are not a changing God. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Mighty God, your word is a lamb unto our feet and a light unto our paths. And mighty God, you said, mighty God, we are like the light of the city, light of the world, a city that is set on a hill. And Lord, I pray that our light will so shine before men that they may see our good works and glorify you which are in heaven. Mighty God, is nothing good we have done. Mighty God, while we are standing here, but because of your goodness, your grace and mercy, O oh God. We are standing on top of our grave this morning and all praises belong to you. We give you thanks, mighty God, despite of what happening. We give you glory, we give you honor, O oh God Almighty. Oh God, you have called Moses who have made excuses, mighty God, and so some of our men, oh mighty God, have made excuses, but Lord, you know, heavenly Father, Lord, oh God, we pray, oh mighty God, that you will empower men, that they will lead, oh mighty God, and stand up to the, to the work, mighty God, that you have called them to, oh God, I pray men will make themselves available, oh God, to do your will. Lord, oh God, we put family into your hands this morning, mighty God. Those who have lost loved one, I pray, oh God, that you will bring peace and comfort to them this morning, wherever they are in this world, eventually, Father. Lord, oh God, Lord, it is not easy to lose a loved one, mighty God. Hearts have been broken, but Lord, you know best. So, Lord God, I pray that you will visit the, the, the fatherless, O oh God. B visit the widow, the motherless, O oh mighty God, we pray this morning. Lord, cover them underneath your blood. Father God, we pray, O oh God, that we pray, mighty God, that leaders of our church, mighty God, that you will empower them, mighty God. Empower our congregation, those who are here and those who are at home watching Oh, mighty God, Lord, visit them this morning. Cover them under your blood, Lord. Wash and sanctify them this morning, oh, mighty God. Lord, oh, God, your word have we hid in our heart that we may not sin against you. Oh, God Almighty, we thank you. We thank you for the goodness you have done towards us, Lord. We thank you for what you have done and what you are about to do. We thank you for what you are doing right now in the name of Jesus. We put this service into your hands, Lord, oh, God. Bless our speaker that the word will bring, go forth with clarity. Almighty oh, God, that persons will 
accept the word and turn to you, Almighty God. Let it find the stony hearts, O God Almighty. Lord, we thank you this morning. We put our praise and worship team into your hands, mighty God. Lord God, I pray that they will minister to you in songs, O mighty God, spiritual songs, Lord, O God. Visit us this morning, Lord. Arise in this place and let your enemy be scattered. In the mighty name of Jesus, and we ask these things in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Coming back to us this morning to do praise and worship, we now ask the praise team. Hallelujah, there's none to be compared to you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You are all together lovely this morning. We come with the fruit of our lips to give you praise this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Go Hallelujah. ahead and cut in the worship him this morning. Hallelujah. He's Jesus. worthy. Hallelujah. You are worthy. Hallelujah. 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 We worship the Lord, we worship the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We hail you, Emmanuel, you are with us. We hail you in the place this morning, God. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 He alone is worthy yes, Lord. to worship and adore the Lamb of God. Victorious Mary, Lord, He purchased my redemption. For I shall. Victorious, the risen Lord, He purchased our redemption, our righteousness, our righteousness.
death, my redemption, or righteousness, or righteousness is he. Exalt the name of Jesus, he Exalt the name of Jesus, he is worthy. Exalt the name, exalt the name of Jesus, he Hallelujah, 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 Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus, we place you in the highest place. For you, you are the great high priest. We bless you for above all else, all else, as we bow. As we 
bow to you and we worship as we as we bow to you this morning as we bow to you and worship as we bow to you as we bow to you Lord as we bow to you and worship at your feet. Hallelujah! 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 Jesus! Jesus! Jesus, hallelujah, we lift you up this morning, God, you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, hallelujah, 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 Jesus, hallelujah, I'm no longer a slave to fear. Cause I am a child of God I'm no longer a slave to fear Oh, I am a child Take it down a little musician, take it down a little You enraveled me with your melody you surround me with the sun of deliverance from my enemy till all my fears are gone I'm no longer I'm no longer a slave to fear Cause I am a child of God I'm no longer a slave to fear Cause I am a child from my mother's womb from my mother's womb you have chosen me your love has called my name I've been born again I've been born again to your family to your family your blood flows through Come on, let's do it again From my mother's womb From my mother's womb You have chosen me Your love has called my name I've been born again I've been born again to your family Your blood runs through my veins I'm no longer I'm no longer a slave to fear Cause I am a child of God Child of God, one more time. I'm no longer, I'm no longer a slave to fear. Cause I am a child 
of God. Oh, but I am a child of God. One more time, I am a child of God. But I am a child of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank God that we are your child, Jesus. And you promise never to leave us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus. You are worthy this morning, God. You are awesome this morning, Jesus. Oh, we worship you this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus, 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 hallelujah, 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 indeed he's worthy, thank you Jesus, I come just now to say thank you O King, you are not just a part of my life, but my everything Your love reaches way down deep within Passes human understanding Just the voices please There will always be a song for you I'll sing One word alone just can't express my heart desire gratitude for one more day's money supply your warm embrace and tenderness you're patient with me to all my best I come to one conclusion. Yes, Lord. You are the best. Hallelujah. To our King. Hallelujah. I will sing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Coming to us this morning with the scripture reading. 
Deacon Merrick Wong. The scripture reading will be taken from Mark 10, 46 to 52. And then after we will invite Reverend Rod McDonald to come and do the welcome. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. I bring greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ this morning, our soon coming King. The scripture reading this morning is taken from Mark chapter 10. And I'm going to read from 46 to 52. Please follow in your Bibles. I'll be reading from the King James Version. And they came to Jericho, and as he went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, Timaeus sat by the highway, highway side begging. And when he had heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And many charged him that he should hold his peace. But he cried the more a great deal. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good comfort, rise, he called it thee. And he, casting away his garment, rose and came to Jesus. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What wilt thou that I should do unto thee? The blind man said unto him, Lord, that I may receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy faith have made thee whole. And immediately, and immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way portion of God's word are we honored by saying thanks be to God praise and glory be to our God our father and friend what will thou have me to do for you the question Jesus Christ asked blind Bartimaeus he said he wanted to receive his sight and uh, scripture tells us that immediately Jesus Christ healed him and he followed Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior is a miracle worker do you need a miracle in the house today is somebody watching via the World Wide Web well Jesus Christ is still in the miracle working business somebody put your hands together for the Lord he is working out something for somebody somewhere today praise and glory be to our God our father and friend welcome 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 everyone this morning we say welcome to those who have joined us via the World Wide Web welcome to the Greater Portmore Open Bible Church it is a place where the gospel and friendship meets and we say welcome to those who have joined us this morning for the very first time it is not out of coincidence that you have joined but is out of appointment God has brought you to this broadcast to this service this morning because he has a miracle with your name written on it and we say welcome to you welcome to our members friends those who know we would normally be here but we are not able to come together as we normally do but we are in this virtual space but we thank God for this opportunity to still be together so those in their homes watching maybe you're in your car maybe you're somewhere we say welcome to you those who are celebrating a birthday today we it is our prayer and wish for you blessed and peaceful birthday yesterday or you recently celebrated your birthday any birthday celebrants in the house oh no no one is celebrating today any wedding anniversary anybody celebrating a wedding anniversary today recently yesterday all right we don't have anyone celebrating a wedding anniversary we encourage you to continue to enjoy the service with us here at the greater portmore open bible 
church. We're on every Sunday morning, 7 a.m. And so we encourage you, invite a friend, tell a neighbor, tell somebody that service is on this morning. And we are expecting a great move and a grand time in the house of the Lord. Please continue to enjoy the rest of the service. And may God bless and continue to keep you, my friends. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Reverend Matt. We will now invite the MOV to do a ministering item. Brother Tyron. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. Hallelujah. Indeed, God is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. If I ask for things that I should not ask for, if I pray for things selfishly if I ask for myself and not for my neighbor take these scales from my eyes and let me see Is not my will, but thine be done. Praise Jesus. Make this step be my every day. When this road. Flesh that I wear make me falter, guide my step, Lord, hold my hands all the way. If I love all my friends and serve. If I serve all the rich and not the poor, what good would I have done for Christ, my Savior, since my sins? my enemies do the same it's not my will but yours be done my Jesus make this separate be mine that I wear makes me falter guide my step Lord hold my hands all the way it's not my will but that be
this robe of flesh that I wear. Make me falter, guide my step, Lord. Hold my hand all the way. Oh, it's not my will, but your. This robe of flesh that I wear, it makes me falter. Guide my step, Lord. Hold my head all the way. Hallelujah. Guide my step all the way, Lord. Yes, Lord. It is you is in control and not we ourselves, oh God. It is now time for the spoken word. And uh, this man of God, he is a guidance counselor. Hallelujah. He is married three children and the list can go on and on but i won't get into that so it is no time we'll invite our pastor reverend Gerard mcdonald to come at this time hallelujah praise and glory be to our god our father and friend if god has been good to you any at all just stand to your feet Right across this place, wherever you are on this platform, God is indeed a good God. Is that an amen? If somebody asks you, why do you say that God is a good God? If you can lift your hands, it is courtesy of the goodness and the grace of Almighty God. If you woke up this morning and saw the sunshine, it is courtesy of the goodness of Almighty God. If you were able to tie your shoes lace, you, it is courtesy of the goodness of Almighty God. If anybody asks you, why do you say that God is good? Tell them to put their hands on their chest, on their heart, and you will feel your heart pumping blood all over your body. And that is courtesy of the goodness and the grace of Almighty God. Somebody put your hands above your heads and strike them for the Lord. Our God is a good God, and we unreservedly give him all the praise and all the honor and all the glory one more time put your hands together for jesus confuse the enemy and give praise to jesus christ our lord and savior you may be seated in the house this morning praise and glory be to god before i share the word that i believe the lord has laid upon my heart this morning with us I'm going to invite Deacon Wong to come. He's going to share a brief testimony with us. And then I'll come back. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. God is indeed an awesome God. You might notice that you don't see my car outside. But I'm present. Charlie was involved in an accident on Thursday. And uh, in the vicinity of Maxfield Avenue, where, it in, where Max, in, um, Linders Road intersects Maxfield Avenue, I was coming across from um, one side of, the, of Linders, that is where I think the immigration police 
place is, and I was coming across Maxfield, heading to Beechwood Avenue. He was coming from the end, the other side of Linders, Beechwood, turning on to Maxfield Avenue, and there was a collision. The rear side of my car, the, the wheels, the wheel, the, 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 the door, the garnish below the door, the tires are all severely damaged. But by the grace of God, I was able to steer the car out of me getting the hit. That is my side. And it ended up at the back or the rear, we don't want to put it. And I look, I play back this incident time and time again since Thursday morning. I was heading to work. All I can say, but God. Because when I look, I don't know how I came out with just that damage. All I could tell the young man that was driving the car is that you're a wicked, you're wicked. I, I, just, I, I just tell him, you're wicked. You didn't have to hit me. You didn't have to hit me. And he's saying that I'm speeding. But the hit that I got, the hit that I got, I went to the doctor, but the same day, but to be honest, I'm still sort of shake. I'm still shaking up. Right? So, I'm not writing off. I'm on a few days, but I'm not writing off that I need some more. Because every time I, it, I look back, I said, oh my God. You are so awesome. So, the car is, is immobile right now as we go through the insurance and things. But I just want to, you to continue to pray because the morning I prayed for favor, things happen eh? things happen and I, I question you know why this car belongs to you and the only the driver why did you allow this to happen yeah and 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 the answer came immediately you must exhibit patience because what I should have done is give him the right yes yeah, stop don't come make him go on when I had the right, so I had to give him because there was no filter light. So if I'm coming, the main big green light, we were about and it's for the vehicles going across, straight across. Those who are turning, whether left or right, have to wait. So that is what it taught me. I, I should be a little bit more patient. But thank God, I'm alive. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's continue praying. Amen. He's a miracle working God. Is that an amen? Could we sing that song? Could we just stand to our feet? Could we sing that song? Praise to him. He's a miracle working God. He is a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. He's a wonder. He's a miracle. He's a miracle working God. Miracle working God, miracle working God, he's a wonder, he's a miracle, he's a miracle working God, God is, God is a good God, yes he is, God is a good God, yes he is, God is a good God, yes he is. God is a good God, yes he is. He picked me up and he turned me around. He plants my feet on higher ground. He picked me up, he turned me around. He plants my feet on higher ground. He's a miracle working God. Miracle working God. He's a wonder. He's a miracle. He's a miracle working God. God has a miracle for you. God has a miracle for you. Reach out and grab it. You surely have it. God has a miracle for you. One more time. God has a miracle for you. God has a miracle for you. Reach out and grab it. You surely have it. God has a miracle for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise and glory be to our God, our Father and friend. He is a miracle working God. And God indeed has a miracle for you and I. It is a miracle that we are alive today. Is that an amen? Yes, our alarm clocks did not wake us up this morning, but it's the hand of God. When we went to bed last night, some persons didn't wake up to see this brand new day. But the hand of God brought us back to life, brought us back to consciousness. And for that, unreservedly, we give him all the praise and all the honor and all the glory today. Praise and glory be to our God. The scripture was read earlier on, Mark 10, 46 through to 52, if you just joined us. I won't read all of it, but reading just a few verses, maybe the first three verses. Mark chapter 10, reading from verse 46, I have the King James Version of the Bible. It says, and there came to Jericho... And as he went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great number of people, blind by Timaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the highway side begging. And when he heard it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, the son of David, have mercy on me. And many charged him that he should hold his peace. But he cried the more a great deal. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. Here ends a reading of a portion of God's holy word. We honored by saying thanks be to God. Shall we bow our heads and our hearts in prayer? Our Father and our God. I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, your son and our savior. Lord God, as I stand behind this sacred desk in front of your precious people, only a lump of clay, I pray that self will be slain and Christ will be seen and heard this morning. Have your own sweet way, I pray, dearest Father. We take authority over principalities and powers and rulers of darkness, O oh God, that would seek to exalt itself against this moment, against the declaration of your word. I pray, dearest Father, that your word will go forth with power and clarity and authority. I pray that souls will be one for your kingdom today. Hearts will be touched, changed, and challenged, O oh God. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord God, my strength and my redeemer. I commit this time to you. In Jesus' name we pray. And the precious people of God say, Amen and Amen. I want to use as a topic this morning to guide our discourse, to guide this message. Receive your miracle today. Receive your miracle today. Wherever you are watching this broadcast, those in the house this morning, I declare a word to you. I declare a word over our lives. Receive your miracle today today whatever you believe in god for it is possible all things are possible with god and christ this morning if you believe that say amen and when we say amen it says it is done the story of blind bartimius receiving his sight is captured in matthew chapter 20 29 to 34 it is also captured in St. Luke 18, 35 to 43. And the text we read earlier on Matthew, um, Mark rather, 10, 46 to 52. Matthew, Mark, and Luke is known as the synoptic gospels because they include many of the same stories and sometimes they say even identical wording receive your miracle today 
And so the text before us, it reminds us of a blind man named Bartimaeus and how Jesus healed him and how he received his sight. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is still in the miracle working business today. If you believe that, say amen. He is still in the miracle working business today. And you ask me, why, why do I say that? They say the sun is approximately 93 million miles from earth. And they say if, if by some chance, if it goes up too high from the earth, we would, we would, we would be just freeze to death. They said if it moves down too low, we would be scorched to death. We would burn to death. And you notice, when you plant a, a tree, it doesn't, it, it, wherever the sunshine is, that's the direction that it goes. If there's a window, it grows toward the window to capture the sun. Yes, and, and there's a process, they call it photosynthesis in science, where it uses sunshine to help to make food. And so there is something about Jesus Christ. There's something about the, 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 the power of God. And so as you watch today, Maybe you are in need of a miracle. Maybe you've been asking God, how can I receive my miracle? Maybe that is a question on your mind today. How can I receive my miracle today? Well, thanks for asking. It is like A, B, C. That is my answer to somebody today. So what do you mean, Pastor? A, ask, believe and claim your miracle today and you shall receive it interestingly the name Bartimaeus it means honorable son it means honorable son however we meet him in the text as a blind beggar but that's not where the story ends. It doesn't end with him as a blind beggar. This blind beggar had an encounter with Jesus and he received his sight. How many of us know that when we have an encounter with Jesus Christ, our life never remains the same? Is that an amen? Our life changes once we come in contact with the man Jesus Christ. Our life changes. And so when we look at the, the, the text, blind Bartimaeus is sat at the wayside begging. We see that in verse 40, 46. Yes, and so as Jesus Christ was about entering the city gate, that is where that is where beggars were. They would they would they would they would ask of help and beg for those who are going into the city. Yes, they didn't want to miss the opportunity, and so that is where they were. And so I believe Bartimaeus would have come out or would have been taken out like he normally, you know, they would normally take him out for him to beg of arms and beg of bread. And so there are three things in the story that I want to share with us this morning or three things that I think we can take away. His condition. What was his condition? It was blindness. His career. What was his career? He was a beggar. But his change came. Somebody said change. Somebody said change. Somebody said change. His change came. And so as we run on, his condition was blindness as we see in, in verse 46. And just imagine, I mean, today we, those who are blind... The, the term is we refer to them as being visually impaired. Yes, so he was visually impaired. And so that alone would have put Bartimaeus at a disadvantage. He couldn't just go off to work by himself. I mean, there were, there, there were some challenges. And so his condition was blindness. And so three things on his condition. One, the tradition at the time. Traditionally, 
the Jews believe that illness and disability was a punishment from God because the person had committed a sin. But can I tell us, it is not only the Jews back then, even today in the modern church. Yes, once you have a problem, once there is some pain or some challenge or some difficulty as a Christian, some person resign it that no man, it must be something that you do why God is punishing you because the, the Christian journey should be one of bliss and beauty and blessing and name it and claim it all the time can i say to us yes there are times when we'll have bliss and beauty and blessings but there are times when we as christians will endure some problems and we will have some pain and some difficulty but can i say to somebody this morning that our problems and pain it is a part of the process when we take it to jesus he can use our problems and pain to to, to process us into his purpose and bring us into his purpose this morning so maybe as you watch this morning you are having a problem you are experiencing some pain and some might say well you deserve the punishment but i thank god that through the fire he will be with us he promises never to leave us nor to forsake us and so the problems and the pains god can use it to bless us god can use it to process us that we will build character yes that we will build stamina in this time of difficulty in this time when we need to encourage somebody we need to have not only an encounter but we need to have the experience that we can encourage somebody it is said that a man with an experience is never at the mercy of a man with an argument because when we've been through a storm when we have experienced something we can sit somebody down and say my god did it for me and so my god that did it for me can do it for you so don't look at your problems and pain as god's punishment and his high-handedness god is processing you that you can be and bring help to bring somebody into their purpose is that an amen and so we see we see him we see the tradition blind Bartimaeus. we see his condition he was struggling with the tradition and so maybe people would have refused to help him yes the tradition would have said he deserved the punishment leave that blind man there alone and so not only on this condition we see his challenge with the condition but we also see that time might have passed yes maybe you have a situation that you've been praying about weeks have turned into months months have turned into years and you may have been saying but god i have been just passed by or passed over like this blind man that everybody would have left but i want to encourage somebody this morning despite the tradition because you know we have some tradition in jamaica they say well but you you, you you see that problem that you're having well boy is so uh, your grandmother did grow up is so uh, your grandfather did stay and your family members all of them die of some sickness so maybe what you have to do according to, to the tradition just prepare yourself just go and pay for a space out by dovecot because the tradition you're going to follow the same tradition but i have come to declare to somebody today that you shall not die like your grandmother or your grandfather we shall live and declare the word and the works of the lord we cut off every tradition right 
right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth whatever reach your grandparents are down the family line right now we purge your bloodline with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we rebuke every derricks every setup cut off every axe every access that the devil will use and seek to use to destroy you through tradition we're not receiving that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth tradition time might have passed but I want to encourage somebody to trust in Jesus Christ today we see the tradition we see what is happening and so well let's say boy there's pandemonium there's a pandemic in Jamaica yes a pandemic pandemonium might as well we just give up and stop serving the Lord where is God but I hear the songwriter says when I can't see his hand we should trust his heart we're gonna trust in Jesus Christ Proverbs 3 5 to 6 says trust in the Lord with all thine heart lean not unto thine own understanding in all our ways acknowledge him and he shall direct our path receive your miracle today not next week we are declaring today that before the service is ended the miracle working power of God Almighty will do something miraculous for somebody in this building will do something miraculous for those who are hearing us in their homes will do miraculous something miraculous for those who have joined us on the world wide web I speak a miracle into your home now I speak a miracle over your life now in Jesus name in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall he shall shall mean it is already done receive it uh, today not a tradition when it come it going to stop with you bad luck I hear people talk about bad luck we don't believe in bad luck uh, as Christians uh, as people of God we claim the blessings of Almighty God we decree and we declare that I'm blessed in the morning I'm blessed in the evening we decree and we declare that in our going out we are blessed when I lay my head to rest I am blessed when I wake up in the morning I am blessed yes we are blessed and so we see his condition blindness tradition and here the tradition time would have passed and elapsed but this man trusted in God and so we run on to his career what was his career begging yes it was his occupation his way of living you know begging and you know sometimes in this life even on this Christian journey some things can assail us over time that even as a Christian we can you know so begin to accept it as a way of of life yes to say well this is my lot so you know I will continue that way and and and, and begin even to believe the lie of the enemy and the doctor says well this is how you will have to live for the rest of your life everybody that have that condition is this is how they live for the rest of your life and so it becomes a way of living but we hear the doctor's report we respect the doctors for their studies we respect the science about whose report shall we believe we shall believe the report of the Lord and the report of the Lord says healing is a children's bread I speak a word today of healing over somebody's life receive your miracle of healing today and verse 47 tells us that when he heard yes so just imagine what was happening in this story 
Jesus Christ was just coming up the road there and there were there were a throng of people multitude several hundreds of people and so when he got to, to the city gate where the beggars were the Bible says that 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 that, that Bartimaeus heard that Jesus Christ was there I believe that day the, the crowd had swelled yes it was a significant moment and I speak to it as we go on and so Lazarus and uh, not Lazarus but Timius could not see but praise God he could have heard and he heard uh, he heard something I believe not only did he hear the crowds and, and, and the excitement but I believe he heard something in his spirit man that was telling him that today is the day today is the day of breakthrough and so you know it, it runs and very interesting he heard and you know I hear uh, one man says, one preacher man says, if it is in the word, it must be heard. And if it is in the book, we must take a look. Yes, and what does the Bible says about hearing? Hear what it says, Romans 10 and verse 17. It tells us in scripture that faith commit by what? Hearing, don't miss this. But Timius, what he heard a word, so he wasn't blind and deaf because God knew that he would have he needed to hear that Jesus Christ was in the place, and so God made a provision. I want to say to somebody, yes, the situation might look bad, yes, blindness and blindness, you know, depicts some limitation and some constraints. But hear the word of the Lord today, hear the word of the Lord today. Believe God today and receive your miracle. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing cometh by the word of Almighty God. He heard something, I believe, is in his spirit, man. Bartimaeus with a begging career. Three things about, uh, about the, under his career. I believe he became dissatisfied with his career. And I want to say to somebody, become dissatisfied with a condition. You know when change comes? When we become dissatisfied with the condition that we're in. When we refuse as Christians to say, hear me, I will no longer accept this I'm not going to receive this as my destination what is happening to me now and where I am now is an event but it is not my final destination and so Bartimaeus I believe he became dissatisfied with his condition with this career but not only did he become dissatisfied with his career he discerned the time he discerned the time. And, and why do I say this? Don't miss this from the text. Jesus Christ was seven days from his crucifixion. When, 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 he, when Bart, blind Bartimaeus met him, Jesus Christ was seven days from his crucifixion. Not only that, he was, it was prophesied that Jesus Christ would be the Messiah. Yes, and so I believe though Bartimaeus never had eyesight, he had insight. And why do I say that he had insight? Hear what he says. He says, Thou son of David, he gave Jesus his messianic title. The sighted people, maybe they never understood that. They, they were looking maybe in the physical. But though this man was blind, he was blind physically. When we look at how he addressed Jesus, he was not blind spiritually. And we need to ask God in this time of this pandemic and pandemonium and disaster to open up our spiritual eyes that we may capture the times and understand the times like the sons of Ishakar we're living in difficult times we're living in strange times where our physical eyes will not help us to go along the path
paths of life but we need to ask God in Christ our Lord and Savior to the power of the Holy Spirit to open up our eyes spiritually that we can see the demonic attack before they come that when the enemy comes in one way we can plead the blood of Jesus Christ that they will flee seven ways we can know that some things that are happening in our lives is not just just like that but it's the attack of the enemy and remind ourselves that we have authority in Jesus Christ and we can say to the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I command you to flee we as Christians not only do we have eyesight but we have insight as inspired by the Spirit of the Living God somebody somewhere put your hands together for the Lord he has given us insight and so he discerned the times but not only was, was he dissatisfied with his career of begging nobody not in that time or in this time so what is your career what do you do for a living nobody probably says well my my studies yes my, my speciality is to walk and beg we don't do that you tell people that you are an accountant teacher doctor something so he became dissatisfied with the condition that was assailing him and so he had a desire to change he had a desire for change and we must have a desire for change you know when we have a desire for change what it does it gives us a made up mind it lifts our faith to say yes though this is my situation today it will not always be my situation it will not always yes he was expecting a change yes according to your faith be it unto you receive your miracle today and so as you run on as you run on we look at his condition we we look at his career we must now go to his cry for change my god he was crying out when he heard that Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the son of David, the prophesied Messiah, was the reason and the cause for the excitement. He cried out for change. But you know, sometimes when we, God is about to bless us, if you're not careful, the very church, some, I mean persons, because some of those were religious leaders, and they were saying, Bartimaeus, stop the noise. Stop the loud shouting. Why are you hollering out Jesus' name? Stop it. <laughs> but I believe Bartimaeus said to himself, All those of you who are saying, Stop the noise. You can see, but I can't see. And I hear that the man, Jesus Christ, is in the place. And I want to see him today. I want him to set me free of this condition of blindness. So you can talk all you want to talk, but I shall not be stopped. I shall press through the crowd because I want to meet I want to be touched by this man Jesus Christ the prophesied Messiah and so scripture says he cried he cried the more you know you have some dignified people in the church yes and they're saying well you know all you need to do is just a praise the Lord yes just be dignified in your in your praise and in your reaching out to jesus is only a prayer away he's not deaf so all you need to say is a hallelujah 
Praise Jesus. But you ever see anybody house on fire? Yes, and they want the fire to out and the fire brigade to come. They don't just go to the neighbor and go to the fence and say, fire, 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 fire. Yes, the neighbor would go about their business and say, wait, is this what happened to you at the fence? What, what, what are you saying? But when you shout out, the house is on fire, they say, fire, fire fire and we call the fire of the holy ghost to fall upon us now to fall upon this broadcast to fall upon somebody watching i prophesy that the fire of jesus christ will fall upon you now receive your miracle today hallelujah some things deserve a shout yes some things deserve some kind of pain you can whisper about the pain but when you're feeling certain kind of pain you say help i want help in the name of jesus christ so some people when you see them crying out in the church it is not anything wrong with them you might be fine and okay but they have a condition that they need help they need to shout somebody give jesus Christ, shout! Somebody call his name, Jesus! 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 <laughs> Hallelujah! Somebody's being delivered today. Somebody's being healed today. Don't watch your neighbor. Just a neighbor. Excuse me, please. I have a problem that I can't solve. But Jesus Christ is in the house. So don't worry yourself. You might have to beg your neighbor pardon. And say, excuse me, neighbor. If you hear me going on over here, over my house, I am calling out to Jesus Christ because I have a condition and I'm not continuing in this career. This is not going to be my life end and end, you know. And so he cried out for change. Many, scripture says, rebuked him. But, I, I, but, 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 but as he ran on, his cry for change yes he cried out the more and i tell you that jesus christ heard him oh god jeremiah jeremiah 33 3 said we should call unto him and he would hear and answer and show us great and mighty things and it doesn't matter where you are maybe you're in a crowd and you're wondering how will jesus hear my cry you know you have cry and you have cry because i believe a lot of people were calling out jesus they were calling on jesus but there's something in Bartimaeus' spirit that day that he said, this is the day for my miracle. I'm pressing on to God. I don't care about the crowd. I don't care about the rebuke. I don't care how I sound. Because sometimes when you're calling out, you, know, you, you don't look so cute, yes? It's not like you're a madman. It's a weird, stop the noise in here. You're a madman. Oh, oh, stop the noise. But sometimes we have to put off the cuteness. Yes, and we have to cry out and call out to Jesus. Jesus Christ and so his cry for change the man had insight son of David he says and, and three things that happen on his cry for change his cry attracted Jesus's attention my God be crowd but that cry from Bartimaeus it attracted Jesus Christ attention yes and 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 and, and it, it prompted Jesus Christ to respond it says yes he, he said come come yes he commanded him to come yes he called he called Bartimaeus and interestingly read the text when you go home it says Bartimaeus when he was going to Jesus he cast off his coat hallelujah we need to cast off doubt maybe we have to cast off some people did I say that move out of some company because some people if you shout and make up noise they're going to say no man it's all you so super spiritual why you have to be making up some noise? so he cast off his coat 
don't miss this beggars beggars at the time they had a certain kind of coat they were identified by a certain kind of uniform yes so when you see them out there say oh it's a beggar that take out take out ten dollars and give the beggar ten dollars cannot satisfy your economy and pay mortgage and car and all those things so we need that will not satisfy us yes and i believe i believe bartimius wanted more than a coin that day he wanted more he wanted to come in full contact with jesus christ he wanted to come into the very presence of jesus christ the messiah the son of david and my god he called him jesus christ is calling somebody today for your miracle he's saying come unto me but interestingly we see the casting off of the coat as a part of the human element for miracle can i say that again for us to receive our miracles it is not only divine intervention but is there is a human element this human participation that is necessary for us to receive our miracle and you know scripture reminds us that we should cast off yes the weight of sin that so easily beset us and so maybe that casting of the coat it could represent unbelief it could represent a besetting sin something that we need to remove from ourselves something that we are constantly listening to that they said come on you can't listen to this it does have in one and two little bad word but you know <laughs> it is you know, nothing is really wrong with it everything is wrong with any content that have expletive in them every movie that has all kinds of expletive and pornography nothing is right about it so as jesus christ calls us today he said cast off that little thing you know it's just a little one watch oh god today's men of vision sunday yes it's just a little one movie men some movies we're not to watch and your mother tell me say pastor i just watch this movie you know it is not really blue it's just light bluish once it have any color rebuke it in the name of jesus run from it it's the sign it is the, it is the sign brothers to destroy you and mash up your marriage so don't tell me that it is light blue or it just have little color in here it is designed to destroy you run Lord man pastor, chum man, no matter go on so pastor, I just look a color in it, you know, light blue, <laughs> what, the, what the excitement for, <laughs> what the, this, this level of spirituality, yes, the Bible says the devil comes not but the thief, comes not but to steal, to kill and to destroy why they put a little color in the movie to destroy you as a man why they put a little color in there to destroy a marriage why they come put a little color in there to destroy our mind as men yes we live in the caribbean and our women look different what we see on tv some people starve themselves when you see them they are picture perfect yes and so those things will destroy us brothers ruin your marriage because you watch those things and 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 you say well my wife should look like that you look like paper you do look like paper yes it's a whole under heaven she must look like paper you don't look you's not paper size man he's a real size man and that wife of yours is a real size woman bless her bless your marriage and read the word of almighty god so some music some movie some place Say us, I take a one drink, do on God here. Yes, many start with soda, you know. Yes, they invite you to a place to come and have a drink, man. We know that you're a Christian man. Just just drink a soda. Yes, or apple jay. You know, apple jay, apple jay is a nice little juice. I like it. Yes, you drink a apple jay. And then after you drink a, a apple jay, 
They say, well, since you drink apple J, there's another man that name start with J. You know him? Jerry. And him have some nephews. Stop drinking up apple J, man. You is a big man. Why don't you take a one shot of Jerry and nephew? You know they call it what? A shot. So when you take a one shot, it will shoot you into the destiny of hell. Run for your life and stay in Jesus Christ. Run. Drink lemonade at home that your wife make. Yes, you, you'll be fine. It is healthy. So he, 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 his cry for mercy attracted the attention of Jesus. And he said, come. Yes, come. He cast off, cast off, brothers, anything any phone call i don't have to carry my phone in my pocket you know brothers you know some people in the house and the phone in their pocket they go into shower and the phone on top of the shower thing because nobody in the house is allowed to see the phone they have five million security got thing to get in the phone why because they're hiding something remember but timius when he approached jesus christ for his miracle he cast off the coat cast off the coat of secrecy and i challenge any person if you're in a house with your family and your phone ring and you have to break your neck to grab it only you alone can answer the phone <laughs> is who calling you dearest <laughs> no my friend rebuke them and get them out of your phone i challenge every brother any phone call that you get that your wife can't answer it, take them out of your number block them That don't sound spiritual. It's spiritual. Mark it unless it's some confidential information. Yes? Yes, unless you eat some people work, you know, in security or so, and they have to take, you know, I'm not talking about giving out people's information. But brothers, hear me. If you have any friend, especially if they are female friends, that is when they call you, you have to in a corner. What is it? Yes. No. Oh no, no, no man. No, 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 no. Yes. And when somebody come here, have to change the conversation. Say, oh yes, yes. What time? I must come to work in the morning. All right. I'll be there at nine. Lies. Cast it off. Lies. Not to work in the morning. I was talking before. Those things we must cast them off, like Bartimaeus. Cast it off. I must run on. I hear somebody say, Pastor, you have to finish now. All right. Yes. Cast off the cloak. Yes. Anything that will stop up or a miracle today, confess it. Confess any sins. Yes. And cast off the weight that. And when he came to Jesus, we're going to close now. So we see, cast off the coat, and then he came to Jesus, my God. And then Jesus en en engaged him in a little conversation and listened to the question that Jesus Christ raised with Bartimaeus. What do you want me to do for you? And I believe Jesus Christ is asking somebody today, what do you want me to do for you? It was after Bartimaeus did what he needed to do. He cast up the coat that represented begging and a beggar. Yes, yes, you know, he, he was coming face to face with his deliverer. He was coming face to face with Christ, with, with Jesus Christ, the Redeemer of mankind. Yes, and so he says, Tell me, what do you want me to do for you? And wherever you are, hearing or watching this message, Tell Jesus Christ, what do you want him to do for you? And believe it. Ask of him. ABC. Ask. Believe. Claim it. And receive your miracle today. And did he, indeed he answered. He said, what do you want me to do for you today? And Bartimaeus told Jesus that he wanted to receive his sight. 
And Jesus answered, he responded in the affirmative. It never took 10 hours, 10 days. Yes, it says immediately he received a sight. I speak a word of healing to somebody that is watch, watching this broadcast. His condition was changed. Yes, Jesus Christ can change your life today, my friends as I come near to a close <clears throat> Bartimaeus his condition was that of blindness but Jesus Christ opened his eyes his career was that of begging he was begging for a coin but Jesus Christ he was begging for arms but Jesus Christ our advocate gave him back not only his sight but as the day he had insight and why do i say that he had insight he followed jesus thereafter he followed jesus thereafter and change came despite the throng jesus christ can change your life today and i speak a word to somebody that is watching this broadcast god is healing a heart problem today God is healing a heart problem today. The Spirit of the Lord is healing a heart problem today. Somebody that, is, that, that can't see well from their right eye, Jesus Christ is opening your eye today. He's giving you clear vision. You're feeling a heat coming on you now. It is the Spirit of the Lord that is performing a miracle today in your body. Somebody is being healed today of demonic oppression. Somebody that can't sleep. You're constantly bothered in your sleep. And you're constantly being awake in your sleep by spirits rebuke right now every demonic oppression in your life right now in the name of jesus christ of that somebody that has lost their job is is regaining employment now i prophesy to you now that man that woman that has lost your job they're calling you back to your office today they're gonna call you back you're gonna go back to work so you can earn you don't want to live a life that you have to beg like blind but timius that is not your call our condition God is opening up a door for re-employment for somebody today somebody is being healed today if you come here today and you believe in God for a miracle just raise your right hand with me right across this place right across this platform <clears throat> say after me dear Lord Jesus as I come today I receive my miracle in Jesus name Amen according to your faith my brothers and sisters be it unto you in Jesus name Amen 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 come just as you are I want to invite someone Blind Bartimaeus experience the healing of receiving his sight. I want to invite somebody watching today to experience the greatest miracle that any human being can ever experience, and that is salvation. Come just as you are. The songwriter said, Come, come just as you are. I'm going to lead you into a prayer. And if you pray this prayer in faith believing, Jesus Christ will change your heart and heart. Come just, just as you are. Hear the Spirit call. Come just as you are.
Jesus Christ. Hold it, Mr. Music. Mr. Music. Mr. Music. Thank you. Those who want to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you can receive your miracle of salvation now. I'm going to ask you to just bow your heads and your hearts right now. Close your eyes. And if you say this prayer after me in faith, believing Jesus Christ will change your heart and life forever. Pray this prayer after me. Dear Lord Jesus, Today I recognize that I am a sinner. Today I repent of all my sins and receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I thank you for hearing my prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Lord God, we thank you for those that would have received you as Lord and Savior. Those who have come to faith and the knowledge of Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior today. Oh God. Lord, I pray that you'll bless them, breathe upon them. Oh God, give them an appetite for a study of your word and for prayer, fasting, and the things of Almighty God. Lead them to a Bible-believing church and cause them to grow in Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Put your hands together in celebration for those who have come to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Praise and glory be to God, our Father and Friend. You know, I want to pray for somebody. If you believe in God, you know, sometimes you have to do some things. I, I must share a little testimony. I've been praying about something. Praying about something for the past week. And I said, God, aren't you hearing me? Is, is one if anything wrong with me? Anybody ever said that? Yeah, I said, but is, is what going on around here, someone? The preaching and down the church and upon meeting. I said, I said, Lord, it is me again. And when I woke up yesterday morning, you know what the Spirit of the Lord said to me? Fast today. Fast about the matter. I'm telling you seriously, Sister Hawkins. I said, All right. I, 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 you know, I, I took a policy position. Turn down your pot. You know what a policy uh, uh, turn down your pot means? No food. And I prayed and fasted, and then, you know, one time I smelled something cooking, and I said, I have to go drink something now, you know, because. And I held out, yes? And I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters, by 10 o'clock in the night, God answered the prayer. Put your hands together for Jesus. Put your hand, God is real. So I speak a word. If you believe in God for a miracle, just walk out of here. Just walk this way. I'm going to pray over your life a special prayer. You believe in God for something unusual? You pray about it already? 
and he said, but God, he says, is, what is happening, man? Where are you? You know, we, what must I do again? I have prayed. You know, sometimes just a walk, you know, a walk of faith. Just walk out of your seat, you know, as a, we can be socially distant. The building is massive. Thank God, God knew that this would happen one day, innit? And so we have to, 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 we have to just come. Praise and glory be to our God. Praise according to your faith. C come here, Sister Hawkins. Come here. Stand right here. We'll soon close. Sometimes we have to move according to the spirit and move a little different. We'll soon close. Come here, Sister Angela. Turn around, Sister Huggins. Stand right there. Six feet apart. Yeah, six feet. All right. Sister Huggins, stretch your hands towards Sister Angela. Sister Angela, stretch your hands towards me. Our Father and our God, brethren, stretch your hands towards. Just stretch your hands towards these two. Our Father and our God, as we join our hearts in faith, even as Sister Huggins stretch her hands towards Sister Angelo, I declare a miracle over Teresa Huggins right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Right now, even as she believes for Sister Angela, we believe with her in the name of Jesus. And right now, even as Sister Angela believes for Sister Huggins, we believe with Sister Angela. We decree and we declare today that according to Sister Angela's faith, be it unto her a miracle now in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. Another two come. Come right here. Just like that. Somebody else takes Sister Angela's space. Right here. Praise God. We're still finished. I know we want to go home. We're, we're going to go. Stretch your hands towards these two. Rabba Bashe Kendo de Bokuria. Ye de de Boshaka and Dalabaku. Ye de Boshaka. Our Father and our God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I speak a word over Sister Corinne Brown right now in the name of Jesus. Even as she stretch her hands towards Sister Sharp Brown right now in the name of Jesus. We believe, we agree with Sister Brown's faith. And Lord God, we say, Sister Corinne Brown, according to your faith, be it unto you now in the name of Jesus. Receive your miracle today in the name of Jesus. And right now, even as Sister Sharp Brown stretch her hands towards Sister Corinne Brown, Lord God, in believing for her, we believe with Sister Sharp Brown. We stand with her now. We decree and we declare a miracle and breakthrough over Sister College Sharp Brown in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We call it done in Jesus' name. Amen. Another two. Come, let's come. Let's flow. We're going to finish in short. Or just flow. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. God is working a miracle today. Hear me. God is working a miracle in this house today. We shall hear about today. Robo shaka andaleba kundaleba kundaleba shaka. Oh God, we lift up Merrick Wong before you now in the name of Jesus. Even as he stretches hands towards Sister Ruth, we believe with him. We believe for him. We declare and we declare that according to Merrick Wong's faith, be it unto him today. Be a miracle come upon this man of God in this house, in this time, today, in Jesus' name. Lord God, we lift up our sister Paulette roof now. Even she stretch her hand in faith to this our brother. Lord God, we say, be it unto Paulette roof now. We call for it. We activate a miracle upon this woman. According to your faith, woman of God, be it unto you in Jesus' name. All right? Along now, two other persons. Just come quickly. Just roll. Let's roll. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody say hallelujah, no man. Say hallelujah. 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 Even as we stretch our hands towards Claudette, our sister Claudette Hudson, no God. Lord God, be it unto her a miracle according to her faith. Even as she stretch her hands towards Brother Tyrone in faith believing. Let her miracle come now 
in the name of Jesus every blockage for our miracle we bind it and we release a miracle upon it now right now we lift up brother Tyrone Smith right now even you stretch your hands towards this woman of God man of God be it unto you be it unto brother Tyrone Smith according to your faith even as we stand together be it unto you now brother Tyrone Smith receive your miracle today in Jesus name hallelujah somebody say hallelujah 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 yeah hallelujah 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 right now right now right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Lord God we put sister Thorpe Jenkins before you now even as she stretch her hands in faith towards Deacon Lois Lord God we stand with her we stand with her in faith we stand with her in prayer and we say according to your faith according to your faith right now woman of God be it unto you sister Andrea Trump Jenkins be it unto you now your miracle will manifest right now in Jesus name right now we lift up Deacon Lois oh God and even as he stretches his hands towards sister Jenkins Lord God Lord God in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we say man of God according to your faith we agree with your faith we say be it unto you now in Jesus name in Jesus name hallelujah 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 come along come along come along come along come, come by the sea stand right there hallelujah 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 keep the hallelujah going keep the praise going something is happening in the spirit realm that which we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven that which we loose on earth shall be loose in heaven hallelujah hallelujah right now we right now we put philip erskine before you right now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth even as he stretches hands towards brother theo in faith believing we speak a word over philip erskine right now in the name of jesus according to his faith be it unto him right now be a miracle manifest unto Philip Erskine now right now we put brother Theo before you right now and even as he stretches his hands towards our brother we say be a miracle unto you now brother Theo according to your faith be a miracle manifest unto you brother Theo Paul in Jesus name in Jesus name clap your hands clap your hands to Jesus come along Mr. Music it's three of you all right come come along Three of you stand in a little circle. Somebody say, praise the Lord, man. Somebody say, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stand here. Stand in front of him. You stand in front of him. Come back, Deacon. Stand, stand. Hallelujah. Go, go by the calling. Go stand in front of him. Here. Stretch your hands towards him. him. Stretch your hands towards him. All right. Our oh, Father and our God, I put our brother Melvin Watson before you now. That situation, Brother Melvin Watson, the Spirit of the Lord is speaking to me. The Spirit of the Lord says to tell you, Brother Melvin Watson, that the hand of God is turning that situation around. That which you have represented to him, he's turning it around. And he says to tell you, that as he turned it around, he's look, look to him. He says, come nearer my son and you'll hear my voice. Come nearer my son, says the Spirit of the Lord, and I'll show you my vision. I'll open up your eyes to see says the spirit of the lord i will give you insight and foresight says the spirit of the living god lord god we place brother melvin watson before you even as he stretches his hands towards brother colin oh god in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we agree with him we agree with him in faith oh god and lord god we say according to his faith be it unto him release that miracle today in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we put brother colin mccoy before you now even as he stretches his hands towards brother melvin oh god in the name of jesus we say brother colin mccoy according to your faith be it unto you today receive your miracle today brother colin mccoy we decree it and we declare it and we call it done in jesus name oh somebody clap your hands to jesus somebody's experiencing a miracle today hallelujah 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 stretch your hands towards him one more time deacon lord god we put a brother oresha thompson i call him by name brother oresha thompson the spirit of the lord says to tell you that now is the time to let go and let god arise in your life the spirit of the lord says to tell you to 
give him a chance fully in your life the spirit of the lord says to tell you young man i call upon you because you're strong clear your desk clear your desk you have not seen anything yet i have a pouring out for you said the spirit of the lord Horatia thompson i call you by name said the spirit of the lord let go of that which assail you let go of that which you need to let go of cast off that which you need to cast off to the spirit of the living god i am your god i have made you for a purpose i have a plan for you yes the spirit of the lord oh god in the name of jesus christ of Nazareth, as orisha thompson stretches hands towards deacon merrick wong yeah 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 according to your faith Horatia Thompson beat unto you according to your faith be a miracle manifest to you and we put a double portion upon Mary Wong right now according to your faith Mary Wong according to your faith beat unto you beat unto you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth somebody clap your hands to the Lord hallelujah hallelujah you know what we're gonna do now we're gonna represent this congregation just turn around and stretch your hands towards the chair god all those who are watching online every member every adherent yeah, hey, hey. every member of this church as you stretch your hands towards this towards the cheers oh god in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every adherent every visitor Oh God, we decree and we declare, oh God, a miracle over their lives now, even as they watch this broadcast. We prophesy that the miracle working power of God Almighty will break through this congregation like an unstoppable river. People will testify, oh God, of your healing power. People will testify of breakthroughs. People will testify of salvation in their family people will testify of new homes new cars people will testify of the baptism of the holy spirit right now even as you watch in your home somebody's been baptized with the holy ghost somebody's speaking in tongues in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we stand together in the name of jesus christ of nazareth of the great apartment open bible church we send a message across the airwave we send a message of healing across the community of greater portmore and beyond we send a message of uh, across jamaica lord god in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we bind this virus covid 19 right now we assail it with the blood of jesus christ we come against it now heal and deliver and set your people free today lord god we celebrate your healing we celebrate breakthrough we celebrate deliverance we celebrate oh god somebody clap your hands all across this place as we celebrate victory in jesus somebody said victory victory in jesus name amen 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 be it unto you according to your faith be it unto you you shall go back home as carriers of miracle hallelujah you shall go back home in your home something is changing in your home even now praise and glory be to god and it's time for worship and giving and if this broadcast has been a blessing to you my friends then be a blessing to us here at the greater portmore open bible church as we continue the work as we continue to serve in this community and so those in your homes get your tithes and your offering we're going to pray a prayer blessing over you and your family and your home praise be to god and if you want to get in touch with us electronically you want to bless the church well we are at ncb the university branch account number 401 zero nine four four three one that's account number four zero one zero nine four four three one university branch the commercial branch and i know i know somebody has been healed that is watching this broadcast and they will testify you want to share with us you reach us at five zero two five oh zero nine call us and tell us 
about the miracle. The office, the church office will be open. Those who need to get in touch with the church office, it will be open this Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Let us bow our heads and our hearts in prayer. Our Father and our God, we thank you for this opportunity to participate in worship and giving. Even as your people stretch a hand to give, we pray, O oh God, that miracles will come. Financial miracles will break loose in the name of Jesus. Healing miracles will pursue and overtake your people, even as they stretch a hand to give, even as they plan to see today. We decree it and we declare it. Lord, bless the offering, bless the givers, and bless those who don't have to give that they'll give another time. We thank you for this time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Ushers, Mr. Music. Good morning again, one and all. And these are the announcements for September 12, 2021. And it reads as follows. Please join us online, Facebook, for another wonderful worship service at 7 a.m. next Sunday morning, as only 20 persons are allowed in the sanctuary. You are invited to join our Bible study on Tuesday, September 14, 2021 at 8 p.m. via Zoom platform. Our own deaconess, Monica Williamson, will be the presenter. Theme, Serving in God's Kingdom. Please note the Zoom link meeting ID 391-546-5000. Nine seven. That's three nine one five four six two five nine seven. Passcode four zero eight six seven three. That's four zero eight six seven three. The link will also be shared in the church WhatsApp groups. Please join the WW connection. A time of prayer, testimony, and the word. This Saturday morning, September 18, 2021, at 6.30 by the Zoom platform. Kindly invite a friend and remind a friend. The link will also be sent. The send. Woman of Words, WW express their gratitude for supporting the recycling project. Please continue to drop off your plastic, empty plastic bottles. Youth meetings are held on Friday evening by the Zoom platform at 7.30 p.m. All youths are invited to join. We are grateful for your financial gifts, tithes, offerings, love gifts. Please continue to remit same 
online or, or ABM banking information. National Commercial Bank NCB University Branch Account number 4010-94431 We are kindly asking that you email the particulars to greaterportmoreob at gmail.com For further information, please call the church office at telephone numbers 502-5059, that's 502-5059, or 622-3444, 622-3444. Tuesdays and Thursdays, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., and Fridays, 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Let us remember the brave families in your, in your prayers, our departed sister Pauline Atkins, sister Carlene MacLeod, who lost one of her daughters, daughter, rather, brother Errol Basco, lost his wife, Desreen Basco, Deaconess Williamson, and brother Tyrone Smith, uh, lost a brother, and sister Patrice Groves lost a sister. Please remember to keep this family in your prayers. Please be reminded to notify the office of any sickness, death, birth, etc. in your family and if you desire for it to be announced, let us continue. Pray for the following persons. Sister Joan White, Sister Claudette Blair, Sister Sharon Robinson, Sister Pelinda Palmer, Brother Amos Roden, and all persons that are ill at this time. Please, these are the announcements for this morning, September 12, 2021. Please stay safe. May the peace of God abide with you always. Bless you. We now invite the praise team to come and minister, do the closing hymn. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. It was a good morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, what singing. Oh, what shouting. On that happy morning when we all shall rise oh what glory hallelujah when we reach the blessed savior in the sky redemption coming praise the lord oh what a wonderful freedom Glory to his name. I'm out of the bondage. I'm into God's freedom. Redemption coming. Praise the Lord. Redemption coming. Praise the Lord. Oh, what a wonderful freedom. Glory to his name. I'm out of the bondage. I'm into God's freedom. Redemption coming. Praise the Lord. He lifted me up from the mighty clay. He planted my feet on the rock to stay. And that is the reason why I sing and I show. On the rock to stay, and that is the reason why I sing and I show my second love and leave me up. Oh, in the rock, I'll hide in the 
shadow, I will abide. When the storms of life they are raging over me, in the rock I'll hide. Yes, in the rock I'll hide. In the shadow, I will abide. When the stand of life are raging over me in the rock, I one more time is in the rock. I'll hide. Oh, in the shadow. I will abide when the storms of life they are raging over me in the rock. And when the storm, oh, when the storms of life they are raging over me in the rock. I'll hide. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise and glory be to our God. Do remember that 5 p.m. this afternoon, we'll have our Sunday school online. It will be the same link as last week. So please join our Sunday school 5 p.m. on the Zoom platform. Invite some children, tell the neighbor. So though we can't meet face to face, we have Sunday school online. Let's pray. Dearest Father, we thank you. We thank you today that whatever our conditions are, change is possible through Jesus Christ. Thank you that we have experienced change today. We have experienced miracles, healing and deliverance, numerous of different sorts and types of miracles. Thank you for your miracle working power. And as we go from this place, go with us. Cover us under your blood. Oh God, even as people, no movement are at home, cause us to reflect on you, oh God. Cause us, oh God, to dig deep in your words, even at this time. We commit ourselves to you for every blessing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, the full fellowship and communion of the Holy Spirit, rest, remain, and abide with us all, both now and forever. Amen and amen. God bless you, my friends. Thanks for joining us. And have a good rest of the day. Blessings.